Hello, my name's Brian Atkinson and welcome to UK Aircraft Explored. Following on from our video covering the flying control systems, here we shall cover the Avro Lancaster's tail unit. We shall be referring to the wartime air ministry manuals that were used by air and ground crews at the time. I hope you find this interesting. The tail unit consists of a tailplane with fins and rudders at the extreme outboard ends and a port and starboard elevator. Trimming tabs are fitted in the trailing edges of the rudders whilst the elevators have trimming and balance tabs fitted in the trailing edges. The tailplane is constructed in halves, the inboard ends between the spars being secured in the rear end of the fuselage to formers 35 and 38. The two sections of the tailplane are bolted together at the centre of the fuselage laminum shims being fitted as necessary. The fins are mounted on the outboard ends of the tailplane spars, which extend beyond the end ribs. Both tailplane and elevator taper in plan and elevation from the fuselage to the tip. The tailplane consists of port and starboard sections, each built up of a front and rear spar. 16 ribs braced by transverse stringers with a light alloy skin riveted to the ribs and stringers. The leading edge of the tailplane is stiffened by intermediate nose riblets riveted to the front spar. The spars consist of top and bottom extruded angles with a web riveted between them. The ribs are made up of two sections the nose fitted forward of the front spar and a centre portion fitted between the spars. These sections are formed from sheet, flanged at the upper and lower edges and have flanged lightning holes. The webs of the centre portions are also strengthened with vertical top hat section stiffeners except rib 14 which has angle stiffeners. At the intersection of the ribs and stringers, the ribs are cut away and secured to the stringers by small attachment brackets. The centre portions of the ribs, i.e. between the spars, are also cut away and fitted with attachment brackets at the spar booms. Three hinge brackets for each elevator are bolted to the rear spar and are of light alloy. Laminum washers are fitted as necessary between the spar and the brackets to ensure the position of the hinge line. The inner hinge on each side is the datum hinge and is secured in its housing by circlips. The elevator does not extend the full length of the tailplane as a small detachable training edge portion is fitted to the rear spar of the tailplane at the outer end and is cut away to allow for the movement of the rudder. The port and starboard elevators are connected inside the fuselage by means of a steel torque tube, which is fastened to steel liners in the inboard ends of the elevator spars by means of couplings fitted with spring steel shims. Each elevator is a welded structure built up on a steel tubeless spar in which openings are cut from the three hinges. 16 braced ribs of welded steel tube with diagonal bracing members between the inboard end ribs form the contour. A light alloy nose fairing is riveted to lugs welded onto the ribs and the surface is covered with dope fabric. The elevator is mass balanced by means of a weighted tube mounted in the leading edge. With lead weights, only the centre tube extending between the inboard and centre hinges is used. With cast iron weights, the outer two tubes are also used. These weights are fixed during assembly and must not be altered. The eye bolts, which form the hinges, are fitted with ball races and secured in bushes through the steel hinge boxes welded into the elevator spar. The trimming tabs at the inner end of the trailing edges of the elevators 
are built up from a spruce framework and covered with plywood, with serrated fabric tape at the edges. The tabs are mounted on piano type hinges and are operated from the cockpit through a screwed socket in the elevator spars. An additional balance tab is fitted outboard of the trimming tab and is operated by means of a connecting rod between a lever on the tab and an arm on the elevator hinge bracket. The loads on the moving elevator are thus balanced by the movement of the tab. A small mass balance weight is attached to the balance tab. The fins are built up from front, rear and intermediate fin posts with vertical stringers and intercostals and 10 horizontal ribs. The structure is covered with light alloy sheets. The fin posts are of channel section and are suitably stiffened by means of steel liners riveted inside the channel section. The rear fin post has also additional stiffeners to take the rudder hinge brackets, which are bolted onto the rear face. The ribs are flanged at the edges and cut away from the stringers and intercostals, which are attached to the ribs at these points by small brackets. Flange lightning holes give additional stiffness to the rib web. The leading edge is of laminated mahogany the skin being attached by means of countersunk head wood screws. An aerial attachment is fitted in the top of the fin, with an access door in the outboard skin. Detachable panels are provided in the skin to give access to the rudder trimming tab controls. The rudders are of similar construction to the fins, and are attached to the fins by three ball race hinges, which are bolted to the front face of the post. The skin covering is of light alloy sheet with detachable panels to give access to the rudder trimming tab controls. At the front of the rudder post is a shroud which is cut away for the hinges, cuffs being fitted round these after assembly. The training edge is of light alloy extruded section. Two mass balances are fitted. The upper balance consisting of two weights supported by tubular arms projecting forward, one on each side of the rudder, and the lower balance consisting of a cylindrical lead weight bolted between rudder ribs 9 and 10. The rudder trimming tabs are hinged into the trailing edge of the rudder and are constructed from light alloy stiffeners and end blocks completely covered with light alloy sheet. The trailing edge of the tab is stiffened by a strip riveted between the two skins. A double armed actuating lever is fixed near the bottom of the tab and two spherical steel mass balance weights are supported on brackets which project forward one on each side of the tab. Well that's it for this video, I hope you found it interesting. If you like what I do on this channel, please click the like button and consider subscribing and also ring the bell. Remember it's free and you'll receive notifications when my future videos are posted. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.